everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing kind of like just a random favorites. I was going to do a September favorites, but the day is October 6th right now so it's a little bit late for that because I usually like to get my monthly favorites up at the end of each month. I mean, these are just kind of the current favorites that I really, really like. I've been using them for like a while or some products are a little bit newer to my collection of things and I'm really enjoying them. I'm going to start with some of the makeup favorites that I have, which I guess aren't like that many favorites. But the first I've mentioned on my channel before, it's the CoverGirl All Last Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And I've been using this for a while, like since July, and I've literally used it every single day for the past like two months. The only bad thing I have to say about this is it lasts good like six hours, but once it starts to get to like ten hours, which I know is a long time, it is still there, but it kind of just fades away on some parts of my skin. Maybe it's because I don't hold foundation that well on my skin, some parts of it, but love the coverage of this. Just love the feel of it. It looks very fresh, awake. I love it. I think it's about $10 at the drugstore, and it's lasted me so long, so I love that. And then, like I said, I set it with a powder, I set it with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Powder, and so it's just like a translucent powder. I'm not going to open it or anything because it's just going to make a mess. I love this stuff. I've been using it every single day since I got it. Like, not going to give you any coverage or anything, but it keeps me matte for so long. It really does set my under eye concealer so it doesn't like crease or anything. And it helps to fill my pores as well, so I really, really love this. Like, once I run out of it, I will repurchase this because I'm obsessed with it. So also for like my everyday foundation routine, the concealer I've been obsessed with lately is the Stream um, like Touching Highlighting Concealer by Maybelline. And I love this stuff. This is in ivory. It's not really too pink for me because I do have pink undertones in my skin. So this is perfectly fine. I just use this on its own. I don't have to use a different concealer with it. I'm actually almost out of this. Like, this part is gone. This whole part is gone. I only have, like, this much left, which is sad. I probably will repurchase this, but not until I finish up a couple other concealers because I have way too many concealers at the moment. It really just brightens up the under eyes. I'm actually using it today. I don't just do, like, a line. I do, like, a upside-down triangle and then blend it out with a beauty blender, which I love. And I just love the way that this looks and just makes me look so much more awake. So I love this. And then for the face, for priming the skin, um, I've been using two different products, which I've actually mentioned in my current foundation routine, which I can link down below because I'm talking about a lot of the products that I use for that. Porefessional by Benefit and then the Lorac Porefecting Mattifying Face Primer. I got these two as like a sample at Sephora. I was really excited because I wanted to try Porefessional for the longest time. I love this stuff. It really does a great job filling in my pores without making them like clogged or anything because I don't have very large pores but around my nose area and also about halfway or a third of the way into my cheeks you can really notice I have large pores. So I love using this every day before any foundation that I use. This doesn't keep me as matte as I'd like it to. So I use the Lorac Pore Facting Face Primer like I had said. This is also one of the samples that I got. I just put this on my forehead and then both cheeks and just blend it out. I don't really need it on my chin or nose because I've used um, the Porefessional. And I love this. It's a clear gel, as it said. It's the mattifying face primer serum type thing. Love this. It really does keep me matte. It's just really, really nice. It doesn't really make my foundation last longer, but it does keep me matte, which I'm very oily, which... You guys would know if you watch my videos, I talk about my oily skin and the products that I use to control it. So this is one of them. I love it. I actually love the Porefessional so much that I went and bought a full size. The next thing that I want to talk about is what I use to fill in my brows on the days I do it. Lately I have been filling in my brows on my foundation routine. I know I just said that I set it with a clear brow gel and don't really fill them in anymore. But lately, I don't know, I've just been liking it. So I use the Milani Brow Fix Kit in 01. This gives you a highlight shade and then brow 1 and brow 2 and just brow 1 is lighter and brow 2 is darker. 
I use Brow One to fill in my brows. I feel like this is a perfect, perfect match for me because I used to use Naked, the eyeshadow called Naked from the Urban Decay palette, but that doesn't really match me as good as I would like it to, so I just use this. I love it. I do it very, very lightly and like super natural because I just have some sparse hairs. Um, I used to really focus it on like the beginning part of my brow to shape it like that perfect shape, but now I just kind of do it lightly there and then fill in the sparse hairs. Love this. I think it matches perfect and I just love the way it's looking. Next, I've mentioned before, I think, in one of my other favorites videos, but I wanted to mention it again because I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I love this stuff. It is so good. I like this way better than Hula Bronzer. This is the perfect neutral shade because it's not too brown and it's not too orangey. It's like the in-between. It also smells like chocolate. That's why it's called the Milk Chocolate Soleil. Love it because I'm very light skinned and it just goes on perfect and not too dark and not too light. Because this is the light medium one. They have a medium deep one if you are like on the tanner side or have darker skin. So definitely check that one out if you're not as light as me. And I love it. I'm surprised like I haven't hit pan or anything. It doesn't even look like I'm close to because I'm not even kidding you. I've been using this every day. Then real quick I wanted to mention a brush because I haven't really mentioned any brushes in a favorites video. It's the LA Colors Professional Eyeshadow Blender. I love this brush. Like every single day, I'm not even kidding you, every single day I use this brush. Um, it's just like a fluffy tapered crease brush. You could use it in the outer, outer corner. You could really just use it to dust any light shadow on your lid. You can use it for anything. That's one reason why I love it because it's so versatile, so cheap. I got this and another brush in a set for $2. So it's basically $1 and I love it. It's such good quality. It blends out like just as good as my MAC brushes. I love it. It's just an amazing brush. So if you're looking for a super cheap brush, definitely go with this one. Again, it's the LA Colors one. So love this one. Thing, um, I'm going to show you actually next two things are some skincare products. The first thing being the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. This is amazing. I got this before I really heard anyone talk about it at all. And now I'm seeing this in so many people's videos and favorites videos. It is so, so good. I think a lot of people favor this over the Dual Action Lotion Moisturizer because me personally, I hate the lotion moisturizers. They just leave like whiteness like on my face and I just, they, th they make me greasy and I don't like them. So I just decided to try this gel one and I love this so much. I have oily skin and it really helps to control the oil. Like it dries to a matte finish and it's very, very hydrating and it smells great too. I definitely recommend picking this one up. It's pretty cheap. From like Target or something. And then I've been loving the Caress Evenly Gorgeous um, Burnt Brown Sugar Exfoliating Body Wash. Now this is not gone yet. I've just had it upside down in the shower so I can get the last little bit out of it. I wanted to try it out because I never really paid attention to what kind of body wash I got. I just kind of picked up any one. Um, and I love this stuff. I will definitely repurchase it when it's done, which will be soon, which is sad. It smells super good. It's super inexpensive from like Meyer, Target, anywhere you can get um, the Caress line. This is not like too exfoliating, so you can just use this as a regular body wash, which is what I do. And it will leave you smelling so good. It's not as cinnamony and like sugary as I thought it would smell, but it smells great. You can smell it right after you get out of the shower and even minutes after that people are telling me like oh my god like did you spray a perfume you smell great and it's this like no lie it's great now on to dry shampoos I've been obsessed with these dry shampoos like I just had enough of hearing about them and me trying the Dove dry shampoo and then um the Natural Mother's dry shampoo so I just decided to try these because I couldn't find one that I liked they're the, the Batiste dry shampoos. I have two bottles because I'm running out of this one. This is just the floral and flirty blush one. All, first off, let me say all of them smell like amazing. 
like not even kidding you, they smell so good. And you can spray these when you have like second, third, fourth day hair even. When you have a little bit greasy hair. I even use these on days like the morning after I took a shower and washed my hair. Because they just make my hair smell really good. They give it nice, good volume. And I just love it. Um, these regular ones that are like Floor on Flirty or the original, they give you more of like a white residue, which I don't like that much. But if you hurry up and just kind of shake it out, it will go away. But then I picked up the Hint of Color Light and Blonde one. And now you might be saying like, why'd you get that? You're not a blonde. But I do have blonde highlights and I have like very light colored hair. So I just decided to try this one because I know that they have one for brunette. So if you're a brunette, you can get the dark the dark one and plus I like this one better than this one like the smell wise but they both smell great so that is all for my favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed this sorry if this was super long but I want to show you guys all the products that I'm loving and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys